What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another math puzzle. In this one, the question is as follows. Do you have what it takes to work for Microsoft? So this question comes from Glassdoor, and it is a Microsoft software engineer interview question. And the question is as follows. You have 100 coins laying flat on a table, each with a head side and a tail side. 10 of them are heads up that we can see down here with the H, right? And 90 are tails up with the T. You can't feel, see, or in any other way find out which side is up. Split the coins into two piles such that there are the same number of heads in each pile. Hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play and I'll give you the explanation. So when we initially think about this problem and just trying to split these into two groups, it's almost impossible because if we if we split it up, it's it's a lucky guess, right? If, if we're able to separate it into 50 and 50, let's say we got to hope that we take five of the heads in each group, right? But that's but that's a random chance. We need a guarantee to assure us that we have the exact same amount of heads in each pile. Now, by the way, they don't say that we need to split the groups into even groups. For example, we don't have to have 50 coins and 50 coins, right? We can maybe have 40 coins and 60 coins, 30 coins and 70 coins, etc. But again, even if we reduce the number of coins in one of the groups, right? Let's say we even take one to 99, we still have to have an equal number of heads and there's no way to discern which ones are heads up or tails up. So there's gonna be one little twist that's needed here. And the twist is gonna be the fact that we're able to flip these coins over, right? Like every coin has a tail and a head side. So we're gonna have to manipulate them. But again, if we're taking 50 and 50 or 40 and 60, whatever it is, and we're just gonna randomly manipulate some and turn some tails over to heads or vice versa, it's gonna be random chance whether or not we get the same number of heads and tails. So we need some sort of a system. And the system depends on the number of heads that are currently facing up. This is the key. The second key is no matter what we do, we have to do one same operation. Meaning we can't say, all right, this time we're gonna flip maybe three of them over. This time we're gonna flip five of them over. We need to say, we're going to take a group and we're gonna flip every coin no matter what. And no matter what group we take, no matter what coins we put into what group and the others in terms of what is facing up. If we flip everything, it's going to give us the right outcome every time. We need a foolproof strategy. So again, this comes back to the fact that we've got 10 coins currently with heads facing up. And the, this is going to inform us on how we want to separate these out. And we want to make two groups, one group having just 10 coins and the other group having 90. So I'm going to show you why this works. So our first example, we're going to take 10 coins and we're going to assume that the 10 we choose are all tails. So we're going to separate out these 10 coins and then we're going to flip every single one of these coins. So of course we flip all those tails to heads and guess what? We have 10 heads here. We have 10 heads here and it works, but let's take a, a different case. Let's say instead that the 10 we choose are all the heads. So now we've got 90 tails and 10 heads, but again, our protocol is to flip every coin in that subset that we've selected. So we're gonna flip all of these. And this of course works as well because now we have no heads in one group, no heads in the other, and that also works. Now, just to show you one other example where we get some heads and some tails, let's say we take these 10 where we have four heads and six tails. Notice that we've got six heads left in this other group of 90. So now we're gonna flip all of these. And once again, we've won, right? We've got six heads here, four tails, and six heads here. And again, what we care about are the heads. We got an equal number of heads in each group. So with this strategy, you are guaranteed to get this correct. That's how you do it, done. I hope you guys enjoyed this math puzzle. And if you did, please click that like button. If you wanna see more math puzzles on the regular, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining. See you in the next video. Take it easy.